I'm Dan May at the Black Magic Design booth here at NAB 2013. We've got a ton of new announcements this year. Uh, we have kind of three themes that we're trying to let people know about this year. Uh, one being Ultra HD, uh, the next being our expansion of the uh, cinema camera family we have, and of course, a wonderful update to Resolve. So, last year we announced several 4K products, our Decklink 4K Extreme card, uh, our Ultra Studio 4K, and our Hyperdeck Studio Pro, all capable of 4K using HDMI 1.4, which is a great way of being able to deliver Ultra HD content. But this year we have a new technology called 6 gigabyte SDI. And 6 gigabyte SDI is a, you know, obviously four times the bandwidth of normal SDI, but also backwards compatible with current HD and SD equipment. So we've got a ton of new products using the 6 gig SDI, the core of which kind of being our ATEM production switcher 4K, which obviously is made for Ultra HD has eight inputs, four HDMI, and four of the six gig SDI. New audio capabilities, new beautiful front with buttons and an LCD, but it's all really based around Ultra HD. And we've got other products in our Ultra HD to help fill out some of that live production capability. But one of the things we were missing when we got done with all of that was the ability to have an actual 4K camera. And that's where we get into our Blackmagic production camera 4K. And this camera is capable of doing Ultra HD and 4K basically via a ProRes or a lightly compressed cinema DNG file. And that can be used both with our current switcher as a live production camera, but it still has the heart of basically being a cinema camera as well. It looks just like one of our regular Blackmagic cinema cameras, but recording in that 4K to the SSD drive. It's a super 35 millimeter sensor, so it's a great big sensor that uses the EF uh, based mount. Uh, it's basically a 1.1 crop factor, so being able to get those great wide shots in that 4K. So it's a great product that kind of matches alongside our current cinema camera, which gives you those really crisp 2.5K images at a full uncompressed uh, cinema DNG RAW. So we felt like those two cameras really go well together. But we also said, wouldn't it be a great way if we could get all of that production uh, capabilities and quality, but into a more compact form factor, and that leads to our pocket cinema camera. So we've got this great new $1,000 HD resolution cinema quality camera, also recording to ProRes or the lightly compressed Cinema DNG RAW, uh, but there's a little SSD card, it's slightly bigger than a phone, but a tremendous amount of cinema quality all packed into that camera. It doesn't come with Resolve like our other cameras does because it is an HD based camera, so it can work with Resolve Lite really well. But along with that, we've added a ton of new uh, functionality within Resolve 10, which we've just announced, It'll be available later in quarter three. But we really wanted to continue with the open theme and workflow of, uh, of, the, uh, of Resolve workflow. So we've added uh, online editing, which means that being able to work from having uh, different editors, being able to bring that back, edit within Resolve, just to be able to work within, you have some guys want to go into Final Cut and to Avid and bring it in, but you don't really want to send it back out if you need to make quick trips. So we've gone ahead and added that in there, open effects plugins, as well as being able to deliver. So big Resolve 10 upgrade coming later this year. So between Ultra HD, new cameras, Resolve, a lot to see here at the Blackmagic Design booth. So you can see more about us at, obviously, markertech.com.